Hey everyone, Logan Harvath here. Today we're going to be making something a little bit different from what we usually do. Normally we make rings here, but I did tease it in another video. Today we're going to be actually making a necklace. So this is a piece of superconductor. Okay, uh, what superconductor is, it is this material with copper and then rods of titanium nobium alloy that go through it. That's why there are these polka dots in it. Okay, so we're going to be making a pendant out of this. We're going to be etching it, that sort of thing. And we're going to turn it into a necklace. It should be a lot of fun. So, let's get to it. The sides of this disc of superconductor aren't, aren't completely flat. So here, I'm sanding the flat sides by hand until it, they are. Once that's done, I sand all the surfaces on it to 1200 grit so we can etch it. Going first with lower grits and going with higher and higher grit sandpaper until we get there. Now, I'm drilling a hole near the edge of the superconductor so we can put some rope through it later on to make it into a necklace. I'm actually using a smaller version of the center drill I usually use on the lathe. That way, I can get the right size hole and so there are some small bevels on the inside part of it. Once I drill through one side, I just flip it over and go through the back to make sure it's cleanly done. So we're going to etch it now, and I didn't have a lot I needed to do before this step. When we've etched Damascus steel in previous videos, I've used straight muriatic acid, it's great for etching steel. But here I'm mixing two parts hydrogen peroxide to one part muriatic acid. That's because superconductor is made from titanium and copper. We want to dissolve the copper, but the acid won't etch copper on its own. So adding hydrogen peroxide allows it to oxidize and etch the copper in the superconductor. It does take a while, and if I had some, I would use ferric chloride, which is made for etching copper by itself. But this works using the materials I have.
Once I pull out the pendant, I pat it down with a paper towel, making sure any residual bits of the etching solution are neutralized. Here I basically make my own rock tumbler. I just take a small glass of jar and fill it with fine aquarium sand and water. I then plop the superconductor in it and put it on the lathe at a lower speed. I ran it for a few hours just to round out any sharp corners on the piece. After that, I take it out of the jar it's in and polish it up. I'm using a white and then green polishing compound to first get rid of any small scratches left after sanding, and second to polish it up to a mirror-like finish. Now I'm using some thin paracord so you can wear the pendant we've made around your neck. I'm just making some simple slip knots so it can be tightened and loosened and then using a lighter to melt the ends. I then loop it through the hole in the superconductor and after that it's wearable. So we did something a little bit different from what we normally do. We made a necklace. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a really cool project, and I really enjoyed it. Um, you can see that nice mirror finish on it, um, and over time, the titanium will keep that mirror finish, but the copper will start to patina, actually, and it will go to kind of a non-shiny tan color to a greenish blue, and it, it looks really cool when copper patinas. Um, so... I've had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for staying to the end, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!